Max of this is here, and welcome back to the final prologue of Unvaulted. I know, I know, I've drawn a lot of stuff with the pre-show for the Unvaulted series with the questions, the prologue, and all that stuff, and then of course the announcement. I, I know I've done quite a lot of just stuff related to it, but not actually getting to it, it's coming, trust me. But this is our final little thing that I didn't mention before. The final topic relating to Unvaulted that I haven't covered yet, and that's going to be the layout of the series. How the series, how each episode, rather, is going to look. I, I feel like it'll be nice to give you all a heads up on what to expect from the un Unvaulted um, Unvaulted series and the structure of it. So you will be familiar with the formula used in each episode. Might make it easier to understand a bit of what's happening. So, first is going to be a bit of explaining how to get to the vault. Whether that means by showing direct directions <laughs> direct directions or by showing qu bas basic quests that leads to the vault. In some cases, discovering other related articles from terminals and other things scattered around the map that hint at vaults. And then go out and find them. And then, of course, gonna be like a, there's going to be a big question leading up to the vault because there's, in a lot of cases, questions before you even get in the place because of scenarios that led you to it. So... Well, that's the first step. Cover those. Step two will be exploring the vaults. Now this is where it gets a bit more complicated. You see, I can't just make a video of me just walking through a vault, right? That'd be boring. Because, you know, you get to see scenery and stuff, but you don't get stories. Yeah, you see bodies and you can piece together what might have happened, but you don't get the story. And the point of the series is, of course, to tell the story. And the stories of these vaults are hidden in terminals and notes, and sometimes holotapes too. So, there's a lot of reading to the series. It's going to be a slower paced series than most other things I've done on the channel. I'm going to have to stop and read these terminals. But I know to some it might sound tedious, but it's actually quite enjoyable. It's interesting to learn the stories and read about the daily lives of some of the vault dwellers and see their reactions to some of the atrocities going around them. It's an interesting way to think. It's in some cases really disturbing and sad, but it, like I said in the introduction, it provides an interesting outlook on the human condition and hu the human thought process. So. We're going to be going through the vault, reading terminals, collecting notes, etc. That's the, that's the big part. And then, the next part is situational. Some vaults have a bit more story to them, right? That continues outside the vault. There's stories that, that continue once you leave the vault. You, there's a continuity to it. And then there's also theories of what happens to the vault dwellers and such, because, well, that's, that's walking into spoiler territory. And after we go over any remaining story, it, there's going to be a bit of a, a recap of what we've just experienced, and a bit of a question of what did you guys think, and a recap of the story, and explain some more ideas of what could have happened, what Vault Tech was thinking, etc. It's a bit of theorizing mixed with fact, mixed with, well, like I said, fact mixed with ideas of how the world could change based on the information provided to us. But, you know, sometimes it's better to show rather than tell. Which, after doing some digging, I've discovered a secret vault in Fallout New Vegas. And so, we're going to cover its story as a bit of a final 
hey, this is how the series is going to look type thing. A final display of what Unvaulted is going to look like. So with that being said, here, here is the full story of Vault 74. As I said before, Vault 74 is a secret vault. It's entirely hidden from the rest of the game. There's no exterior entrance. There's no way to access this vault from the outside world. The only way to enter Vault 74 is through the PC console commands. So hitting the tilde key and opening up the, the, console, the, the console, we can type in COC Vault 74A. Hitting enter, we take it to a loading screen. And once the load is finished, we enter a dark hallway overlooking the vault door. Creeping closer, we see a door exiting and a quest added, exploring Vault 74. Creeping closer, we see there's no control panel to open the door. And in fact, the vault door says 108, not 74 at all. But we are told that we have to explore the vault's overseer office. So the, opening the door, by interacting with it, an alarm sounds and Boone sees something. So the door screeches backwards and rolls aside, revealing two opposing raiders. Thankfully, they're pretty weak, so my companions and myself are more than a match for them. Entering the vault and reloading our weapon, we can already tell that this vault has been taken over by hostiles. Entering a room to our right, we see absolutely nothing. So heading up the staircase to our and to our left, we enter a hallway. Descending a staircase, we enter another hallway with faded vault tech paint. Turning to the right, we see a door. Opening it, we are now in the vault's main atrium, which is also infested by raiders. We see they've set up sandbags, and we see corpses dangling from the ceiling. Another raider runs by and joined by a friend. Thankfully, our companions make this fights a lot easier, not to mention that they're already weaker enemies. Reloading, we get the better view of things. There are several Lone Wanderer motorcycles stacked on top of each other. Yet, our companions notice something else and start shooting at it. There are raiders on top of this scaffolding, on this level above us. A door opens, and we see the raider that had previously aggroed our companions. Taking him down, we've cleared this level of the vault. But Boone sees another enemy above us. His... His perk allows us to see our enemy much clearer, making this fight easy as pie. But now, we get a better look at the atrium. Looking up, we see, of course, the corpses. But a window overlooking the vault's atrium. That has to be the overseer's office. We see blood splattered all over the wall, both on the side that we came in and the side with the, with the motorcycles. Entering a room to our left, we see a small clinic with a doctor's table stretched out and some sort of machinery. We see several lockers against the wall, but none of them have anything. We see a corpse with its head missing, guts missing, and a skull crammed into its stomach. Raiders have a sick sense of humor. We can assume that either that was a wastelander they drug in, or that was a previous vault dweller. Heading forward, we see, on top of the motorcycles, a cut-in-half skeleton with his bi literally biting on to a piece of metal above him, his hand attempting to clutch the handlebars of the motorcycle. What happened here? We see hand pr bloody handprints all over the wall, blood splatter on the floor. This wasn't caused by us. This wasn't us massacring the raiders. This was the raiders doing something either to other wastelanders or to the original vault dwellers. And seeing as that corpse we found earlier didn't have a vault suit on, we can assume that they were kidnapping people. But we can also assume that they killed the vault dwellers as well. Had they gone up a staircase, the same staircase that we were assaulted from that raider before, we reached the upper level. We get an eye to eye view of the overseer's office. Passing the raider corpse, taking a left, we're in a large door. 
a large room. And sure enough, this is the overseer's office. And pick up a, an overseer's log. Vault 74A. And although it didn't show it, we completed the quest, exploring Vault 74. Opening up the notes section of our pit boy, we see the note that we got. The Vault 74A Overseer's Log. Data log number 10, 44, 78. The vault has been breached. There is not enough power to level 5. May God have mercy on our souls. With that, we get a piece of a story. And that it concludes our time here in Vault 74. There's nothing else here. We can close the vault door behind us. Sealing off the fate of whatever happened to Vault 74. To its own, leaving it to its own devices. Rest in peace. The actual door to the vault leads nowhere, so we have to use console commands to find another place to teleport to. But, we have a bit of a story now. Our theory was correct. Either raiders or an, or an unknown party raided the vault and presumably slaughtered everybody. The overseer knows that the vault is on its last leg at this point. The power is out in level 5, they can't get any emergency power to it, and the vault door has been breached. And we can assume that vault security wasn't nearly enough to handle the threat that was the oncoming raiders. Because of course, the raiders have been out here in the wasteland. They've scavenged for assault rifles and better weapons. Vault security guards said we would have SMGs or 10mm pistols. Nowhere near the level of assault rifles. And being un unable to compete with their opposition, we can assume that the, the vault security and vault dwellers were easy pickings for the vault's raiders. <coughs> We can assume that the blood splatter and handprints on the wall were from the vault dwellers from the original raid, but again, there's other than that one skeleton near the motorcycles, we see no evidence of any other corpses other than the ones that we can presume are wastelanders. The idea of the vault's experiment is 100% unknown. This vault was never finished. Not not necessarily not finished by Vault Tech, but not finished by Obsidian. This vault was meant to be closer to Vegas, but it was never fully implemented in the game. And like I said, you can only discover it by using console commands. And so we have no idea what Vault Tech was planning for this place. We knew we know that it was supposed to be a full size vault, but because it was never completed by the developers, we never really get a good look at it. But we know the fate of the vault. Or at least a piece of how it went down. So, this leaves me with a question for you folks. What do you think happened? Yeah, we know that somebody broke in and killed everybody. And that eventually the raiders that we see there now got in. But, what, what do you think happened? We see in cases in future vaults will cover. Vault dwellers opening doors to the wrong sort of people. But, do you think, but from the way this was, this was worded, it sounds like this raid on the vault wasn't willing. The vault dwellers didn't let in the perpetrators of this attack. They broke in. Leave your thoughts below. I'm interested to hear your theories about Vault 74. And with that being said, that is the full story of Vault 74. A tragedy that we'll never get to have any sort of conclusion to. Other than the untimely death of innocent Vault Dwellers. So guys, there you go. There's our example of the structure of Unvaulted. I hope you guys are continue to be excited, and I'm and I hope that this example 
was enough proof that you needed that this series was going to be interesting. And again, if you do have any theories on Vault 74, leave your thoughts below. As always, Max is the Beast is out.